Hey everybody, Hickok45 here. You guys have followed me over to the campsite. You guys show up everywhere. You're at the shooting range. You're right everywhere I am, it seems. We're over here trying to cook out some hot dogs, some uh, turkey dogs, and enjoy the campfire this, uh, this evening. And uh, well, anyway, we're glad you're here. Because, you know, we haven't done a vlog for a while. You guys are always asking for more vlogs, or at least some of you are. So you got it. You keep asking for videos, you get them. We, uh, we like playing with our camera and our guns, as you can tell. So anyway, we're over here where we've been camping over here since uh, John, my son, my skilled cameraman, was about three years old. We'd come over and pitch a tent and uh, build a fire, have a cookout, sleep over here, whether it was hot or cold. So we have a lot of history right here at this little spot. Uh, kind of nice. But anyway, uh, we still do it. We don't sleep over here much anymore, but we come over and cook hot dogs and uh, or something, have some have a relaxing uh, evening. But uh, anyway, appreciate all the uh, uh, support. We're up to 15,000 plus uh, subscribers now and over 4 million views. We you know, turned a couple corners there recently. And I, I think I mentioned I'm not going to do a vlog every thousand uh, subscribers like I did for a while. But uh, just whenever kind of in the mood or got a few things might want to want to say, questions to answer, that kind of thing. By the way, appreciate all the inquiries about the flood here in Nashville. We uh, have had a hard time in Nashville. It's very, uh, very bad. Probably worse than the media has, uh, you know, let it on to be. Uh, fortunately, here at the compound, we're on high ground, as I've uh, responded to many of you with. It's uh, we virtually had no no problems other than driveway washing out a little bit, you know, and that kind of thing. Uh, fortunately, the reloading room still intact, didn't get flooded. I don't know if FEMA would have uh, appreciated having to replace a bunch of ammo. You think they would have? <laughs> but anyway, uh, we were pretty much unscathed here at the compound. Uh, sure hated so many people, lost their homes and uh, apartments and condos, you know, in Nashville. It's really, really bad. It's very strange to see the river up where it was. But uh, anyway, appreciate those, uh, those questions. Uh, hope you saw Steve Lee when he came to the uh, compound a few weeks ago. That was kind of fun. Great singer, great guy. And if anybody's brand new out there, just wandered in and found me, I uh, hope you uh, go check out Steve Lee's uh, video, I Like Guns. It's, uh, I mean, again, it's the anthem of, of shooters. Great, great song, and uh, he's a good fellow. Uh, what else? We've been pretty busy, pretty busy. Uh, still getting a lot of messages and uh, getting a lot of uh, questions I really want to try to answer and I'm still trying to answer those as best I can. Another way you can help me because boy I get piles of them now is to keep your answers or your questions as uh, I guess as brief as you can although on the other hand I kind of enjoy uh, some of those messages I get where you're giving me some pretty interesting uh, maybe history about your shooting or uh, I don't know, you just have to be the judge, but I have to kind of skim through and and sometimes if it's a little bit disjointed, you know, I've got to really skim and find the question. Uh, but then again, on the other hand, I've gotten some really great messages from some guys, you know, whether it's a, a police chief up in New Jersey or uh, Maine and I mean just uh, some guys in Iraq, some guys uh, in the Mideast, some soldiers, just some ex-soldiers, you know. Uh, so I, I'm not sure what to say really about that. Sometimes. I just wish people would write a more uh, a shorter message, but then again, I get some really neat ones that are I enjoy reading. So you be the judge, but just help me as much as you can on that, uh, so I can get to more messages. Uh, one thing too is I'm getting a lot of questions that are actually answered in the FAQs and in other videos. Now I, I guess with 190 plus videos, I, I can't expect everybody to have seen all the videos. You know, I understand that. At least yet, you better be working on it. Uh, that's your homework, that's your project. Uh, but really, the videos, I kind of look at them as answers to questions, you know, about guns and about the various things I shoot and, uh, and all that. So if I'm going through questions and I've got 25 to answer and, and, and all that kind of thing, if I just don't have time and if I'm going to skip one, if I've got to go on to the next one, it will be ones I've already answered. You know, if, if I'm really short on time and I've got a lot of questions 
uh, and I see one that, you know, that's in an FAQ. Uh, that one's in about three different videos. You know, I explain that in several videos or even one video. Uh, you know, it's a common, you know, question about a Glock or something. Uh, you know, I may just go on. So if your question does not get responded to, you know, that may be the reason. Or I may just overlook them. Of course, I'm, you know, not perfect. And I may not get to everybody's questions. I'm still trying to do that. But just keep those things in mind. If any of that made any sense, uh, I know I'm rambling. I hope you're enjoying the uh, uh, the XD stuff a little bit. If you've never had an XD, Springfield XD, don't even care about them, you know, fine. It's just one of the major polymer guns out there. So uh, since I had an opportunity to come on, come up on a couple of them without, you know, much investment, I thought it'd be kind of interesting to do that and, uh, you know, give them a, a look at, hopefully, uh, a fair shake. You know, I prefer the Glock over the XD. But I'm trying to, uh, you know, give them a fair shake. They're nice guns. Uh, uh, again, they've got some uh, qualities or characteristics uh, I'm not crazy about. Got some I kind of like. You know, just depending. I like the grip on those guns. They, they feel really good. But anyway, uh, I may branch out and do a few more. I don't know. Uh, don't know that I'll ever become a gun reviewer, you know, as I've said before. Although I guess that's kind of what I do. But... Uh, Mostly, I just kind of share the guns that I have that I like. If there's a gun I trade for, I acquire in some manner, it's because I like that gun. And so I guess up until I did the XDs, it's been kind of understood. I must like these guns that I have, and I'm just kind of showing them off to you and how they work and uh, you know how they shoot. So it's a little weird bringing in a gun that I'm not going to keep maybe. So uh, I'm kind of at a loss. I know when I'm doing the videos, how much to... To, uh, to bad mouth it or compliment it, you know, I, 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 I'm kind of in this zone, twilight zone. Uh, what am I doing here? Am I a totally unbiased reviewer of these products? Or do I just want to point out the, the best parts of them or what? I don't get any money from any of the gun companies, so I guess I can just do whatever I want. And so, uh, bottom line is I'll just try to give you an honest assessment of what I think about them. So, anyway, that made any sense. So, we plan to maybe do a few more of those. I've had a lot of requests for. Uh, of course, a lot of guns. The M&P, maybe more than any. Uh, yeah, I don't know. I might try one of those sometime if I get my hands on one. We talked about possibly, uh, you know, we make a little bit of uh, money to buy ammo through our uh, advertising. And uh, what we want to do maybe with uh, this XD, the, tactical, uh, the, what, the service model, not tactical. I always want to call it the tactical model. I think the tactical is a 5-inch gun. The service is a 4-inch gun. Probably won't keep that one, even though I kind of like that gun. Uh, we'll probably trade that one for something else. You know, kind of turn it over, keep it in the in the business, so to speak. Uh, anything we make on this project, you know, goes back into it. Uh, you wouldn't believe how much I spent on ammo uh, last year uh, doing these videos, and uh, how much we'll probably spend this year on ammo and uh, that sort of thing. So we're trying to put it all in the business, so to speak, whether it's. You know, the camera equipment, uh, guns to review, ammo, targets, and that sort of thing. Uh, so we, we may put a little money with this gun and, you know, trade up and have another gun and then, you know, keep that cycle going. I don't know, maybe every few months we'll have another uh, popular gun of some kind to review and then maybe we'll trade it for, for something else. I don't know. We're just kind of thinking out loud, but we want to you know, do what we can to help people and answer the questions that people have. So... Uh, what else? Anyway, it's going pretty well. We're enjoying it. Uh, still 99.9% .9 positive stuff. Every now and then we still get our weirdo troll, but uh, that's okay. I uh, have a little fun with them sometimes. But uh, one thing you notice, they never have uploads. They never have demonstrations of how things ought to be done. So I always love that. Uh, I guess I've been pretty busy with my new car too. I didn't tell you about my new car. Got a car that's almost too small for me. You know, I'm a big guy, uh, but I was able to get my hands on a two-tone. Uh, it's well, it's silver and black. Uh, don't see many two tones anymore, but it's uh, really a smooth-running machine. Uh, kind of like it. Kind of smooth. Uh, no problems with it yet. So I'm just kind of trying to get get it broken in. In fact, I thought I might. Uh, let's see. Take a couple shots with it. Yeah. 
Yeah, gets pretty good mileage too. So, here at the compound, life is still pretty good. Take care.